Hi there, welcome to SimiTrek. This video is gonna go through how to script your uh, train simulator using our SimiTrek tool set. Um, this video is gonna be doing the uh, uh, Just Trains Class 166. It's an amazing uh, train, really like it. So you can see here, um, in our train simulator, I'm just gonna look on the left here. What I've done in the train simulator, you have the throttle and then you have the direction below it. So what I've done is I've set up a similar kind of idea. I have the um, throttle here, so you can see when you move the throttle, it goes up and down. <clears throat> and then at the bottom, I have the directional. I just use this direction, so you can see I can push up, then I can push down, and I can put it back to the middle. And then on the right side, you see in the train on the right side, you'll see that there's a horn here. So I want to kind of have the same feeling. So I installed a little joystick here, so I'm able to kind of push up. And you can do it quick as well. So it kind of resembles the real train, which is very cool. So um, the last thing I did also is set up um, mouse commands. So let's say you want to drive, you want to kind of keep your head looking on the road, but then you on the tracks rather, and then you want to be able to look down quickly. So I set up this button here on the joystick in order to allow me to click, look down, and then release and then go back up. So it's very intuitive. I also have left and right. I can go here, I can look left, so I can look out the left window, release, and then I can go right and look out the right window. So that works out really well. And I also added the button which shows all of the commands, but then when you release it's gone. So this allows you to kind of see the speed that you're allowed to go in that sector, it allows you to see the next segments, but when you release it kind of puts you more back in the train simulator. So let's go through how to actually script it or make changes to this. Um, I suggest using Visual Studio Code. Um, it's a great program and it does syntax highlighting for auto heat hotkey, so it'll be really great. So start with one of our templates, look for the loop, and within the loop we simply want to add these uh, commands, which you can all get from our website of what's available. And these commands are what controls what's going to happen. So let's start with the throttle because that's an easy one. Now the throttle is using joystick 6, axes, joy, Z. It has 13 notches. Um, as you increase the joystick, it pushes A, waits 94 milliseconds, then releases the A key, and then 100 milliseconds after so that you don't mix uh, keys together. Now remember that the joystick, I'll go back here, the joystick, the top is zero, and as you pull down, it's actually going to 100. So when we look in their code here, remember the first part is increasing, so this is when the joystick is going from top to bottom, will it run these commands? And then when it goes from bottom to top, it'll run these commands. Now to figure this out, what I had to do is um, in the package you get from us, you have one of the files is called Keyboard Detect. Just open that up, it opens up a little screen like this. And this will tell you the milliseconds that you push. So let's go to the game. Now you can see here I have the thing. So what I had to do actually, it took me some time, is I had to push A. And then you can see it moved a little bit. And then I would look over here, and I saw that was 109 milliseconds. So what I had to do is tap the key and then see the corresponding percentage. So in this case, I just pushed, it went down to 84, so that's 16%, and that was 78 milliseconds. So then from that, you can keep going, you can keep pushing the keys and keep figuring out how many notches you'll need uh, for the game. So in this case, I was given, I set up 13 notches and it does 94 milliseconds and then it waits 100 milliseconds, so that worked. So for the direction, you can see when I move up, it takes a lot longer to move the um, throttle. In that case, I had to specify 550 milliseconds, and it was 200 milliseconds after it. Now to figure out which joystick you, you're using, simply use each of these scripts that you get features a GUI which will allow you to click up and down to all of the joysticks which are plugged into your system and when you find well as you're testing the joystick you simply like come to the different ones move it 
So in this case, I'm moving this joystick and you can see it's actually moving the Z axis. So we know we're dealing with joystick number six and it's the Z axis, so that was, is Joy Z. So over here under throttle, we have Joy Z and it's joystick number six, that works good. For mouse commands, you can use push mouse. Uh, it's, again, the joystick button. The axis button numbers are just purely numbers. They're not Joy Z, they're just be button numbers. So in this case, I click this down and I notice that 13 appears. And then I just want my joystick 6, 13, and I want it to go 0x, meaning it's not gonna move left to right. It's only gonna go 50 down. And then it's gonna go, when you release the button, it's gonna go zero and it's gonna go negative 50 back up. So let's go here. So you can see that. So now that you understand that, watch, it's gonna go click. Look down, release, look up. So that's 50 down, 50 back up. Another one is push key, release another key. So that allows you to click and show all your commands and then release and it goes away. So the keys to actually run that are F4 down, wait 125 milliseconds, F4 back up. And then when you release, you're pushing the button again. So you're pushing, you're pushing the button which clicks at one key, and then when you release, you're clicking again. So that gives you the ability to only have it displaying on the screen as you push the uh, button. That's it, we'd love to hear from you how it's going. Please reach out and um, let us know if you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.